perfumed the Venetian Republic during the century of its lavish decline, the 1700s. This was the century in which great noses such as Casanova's sniffed the air to follow the sweet-scented trail of an amorous escapade. Then as now, a lady or young bride's beauty paraphernalia could not fail to include a bottle of perfume. The art of perfume radiated from Venice throughout Europe, particularly in France and Germany. Evidence of the sciences, arts and craftsmanship in the long Venetian tradition can be found everywhere. It is no coincidence that in 1709 the grandsons of the Venetian perfumer Caterina Gennari, the brothers Giovanni Maria and Giovanni Battista Farina, created their Eau de Colonia inspired by the 17th century Aqua Mirabilis of Gian Paolo Feminis, which, however, was intended for drinking. The long history of the town of Grasse led it to become the town of perfumers with a flourishing production of floral and fruit essences that were so dear to the beautiful but ill-fated Queen Marie Antoinette. Then, alas, Napoleon arrived in 1797 and France took over everything from Venice to supremacy in perfumes. It was the beginning of the modern era of fragrances. Gradually, the great international and Italian designer names were established, along with the thousands of perfumes that today pleasure our noses, offering relief from modernity's olfactory insults. However, in all these myriad fragrances, whether ancient, modern, classical, or future,